Good morning, folks. We've got the sunspot maximum ramping up very quickly. Lots of sunspots being produced. We've also got top science news across the board, so let's begin at spaceweathernews.com, and we find the last day on the sun not exactly calm and quiet. The most notable event was an eruption on the Earth-facing disk on the north, incoming quadrant. If it looks like the ejection of plasma is going northward, your eyes work. This is confirmed on SOHO with the CME seen leaving up and away. But it's full-scale umbral production up there on the sun right now, a smattering of spots peppering the disk all over, with the magnetism key to review in that incoming quadrant on the north. Right side of this leading smaller group is beta class, but split and spreading needs more sunspots in the group. Meanwhile, to the left nearer the limb, we appear to have more flare-making complexity. Eyes on that, and when we come to the south, we see the magnetic structure at the limb suggesting there may be even more spots coming. Let's go to stereo A. Confirms with the spots just behind those visible, and actually more coming on the north as well. The climb up to major solar activity in the solar cycle begins. Folks, it is tough because with all this flooding across the world, which hit China very hard the last few days, the God's honest truth is the urge to I told you so is strong. But instead, let's simply remember that in 2011 when the last sunspot cycle kicked in, we had psychotic flooding across the world as well. You probably remember in the United States they had to open all those levees on the Mississippi. By the way, kudos to the zen-like calm of these people, but at the same time, don't just stand there. Confirmation after confirmation up next, hitting the electroquake topic with pre-seismic geomagnetic conditions. Getting down to minutia here, identifying the disappearing vertical component of the field before the quake, and anomalous moments in all three geomagnetic vectors as the actual quake time approaches. By the way, the other location forcing factors are pretty simple today. Blood echoes nearly all confined to the southern Pacific. Of course, these can shift around by the hour or stay steady for days, so eyes on it. Top atmospheric indicator for the global electric circuit is on the west side, north of those blood echoes. Easing into the science stories here with a 27-day wave on the sun. This is due to its differential rotation. It was expected to be there, but such a close match to the model does give them a bit more confidence in what that model says lies just beyond what our eyes and satellites can see. Speaking of differential rotation, folks, data tricks, back and forth, Whenever this changes, we're going to update it regardless. And we are back to a predicted fastest day of 2021 in October. They have been all over the place this month with that prediction. Up next is a double on space weather and human health. Study confirming the oxidative stress at the cellular level from exposure to electromagnetic fields. Also some things that can mitigate it. A bit more on point is the hypomagnetic field study, meant to simulate the lower field exposure in space travel, but also simulates the condition of Earth with a weaker magnetic field. Multiple animal systems affected and only about the fifth or sixth study calling out the major issues with plant reproduction. For example, if you recall the need of seeds to read the local magnetic conditions, same story here. Why not cap it off with the magnetic changes from the past? The end Permian extinction, the greatest extinction event of Earth's history. It is the subject of something of a science fight where some say it was volcanoes, others say impactors, and some say a magnetic change caused chaos. Nine magnetic reversals leading to ten total layers within the extinction sediment have been discovered. We greatly appreciate your support. We've got wind maps and shots of our star to close. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.